So in this lesson, I'm going to talk about the other sequences from the final sequences activity we did, squares, triangles, and toothpicks. Um, mainly the sequences found in patterns like those in uh, D, E, and F of that activity. So here's an example. It's not one from the activity, but it's the same kind of data. And we're going to call them quadratics because, well, you're going to see in a little bit that they're related to these things called quadratic functions. So I'm looking at the sequence 2, 3, 5, 8, 12, and 17. And when I'm trying to describe a sequence or trying to figure out what kind of sequence it is, I look for one of two things first. I either look for a pattern in what I'm adding or a pattern in what I'm multiplying. So for these, I'm going to see if there's a pattern in what I add. So to go from 2 to 3, I have to add a 1. From 3 to 5, I have to add a 2. From 5 to 8, I have to add a 3. Um, from 8 to 12, I add a 4, and from 12 to 17, I add a 5. So it looks like there is a pattern in what I'm adding each time. So the next term, I would add a 6, then I would add a 7, so on and so forth. Or apparently, that's what it looks like it's doing. Now, this is not arithmetic because I'm not adding the same number each time, nor is it geometric because I'm not multiplying. This is an example of one of these quadratics. Because if you look at this, there is a pattern in what I'm adding each time. And I'm going to show you the, the test for quadratic. I call this the common difference. Or I call this a first difference. It's not common, but it's a first difference. And then if I look and I make a second difference, I notice that in the second difference, I am adding the same thing each and every time. So this first difference right here, there's a pattern in it, but it's not constant, okay? But if I look at this second difference, it is constant. And that's actually the test for these quadratic patterns. This is the second difference. And in this case, it is common to each of them or constant. And you'll hear me say it both ways. You'll hear me say common and you'll hear me say constant, okay? This is the key right there. So if I have this kind of pattern, where I'm basically adding a pattern uh, to a, a pat to get the next terms of the pattern, I have um, one of these quadratics. Now, I don't ask you to know a lot about these quadratics just yet. First, I want you to be able to recognize them as quadratic, meaning you see that this second difference is constant and, well, not zero. And I also want you to be able to write recursive rules in sentence format. Writing these recursive rules with, apparent, or with variables is very difficult, as you saw during the class activity. So if I want to write the recursive rule or formula in sentence format, um, these always kind of have the same sort of um, flow to them. You always have a start with, and in this case, I'm going to start with two. That's true for all recursive formulas. You always have to tell me what to start with. Um, and then I'm going to add. Now, I don't add the same number over and over again. I'm adding a pattern. And the easiest way to describe this pattern is by using the phrase consecutive. Um, and then I'm going to fill something in here. In this case, it's consecutive integers. It could be consecutive even numbers. It could be consecutive multiples of 3, consecutive multiples of 4. That's how you get the second difference being constant, is that you are adding either consecutive integers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or consecutive evens, like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Anyway, so I'm going to say start with 2, add consecutive integers, but I have to say which integer I start with. And in this case, I start with 1. So add consecutive integers to the previous value, starting with, and this is you have to add this, because you need to tell me which what first number you're adding. And in this case, I'm adding 1. And this is basically all I'm going to expect from you, like on a quiz right now, when I give you a quadratic sequence. I want you to tell me that it's one of these other or these quadratics, so meaning it's not arithmetic or geometric. And I want you to write me a recursive rule in sentence format. So that tells me, you have to tell me what to start with, what you're going to add, consecutive what? Consecutive integers, consecutive multiples of two, consecutive evens, consecutive odds, whatever. And then tell me which one of those numbers you start with. So let's look at another example where it's not consecutive integers. This one's also going to be quadratic. Okay, so let's look at the example 5, 7, 11, 17, and 25. Okay, so what I'm going to look at is while I take 5, 
and I add 2 to get 7. 11 plus 4, or sorry, 7 plus 4 gives me 11. 11 plus 6 gives me 17. 17 plus 8 gives me 25. Okay, so this first difference is not constant, but there's a pattern in it, which is a big clue that, hey, this could be one of those quadratic things. And so to check, I see the difference in the first difference, or the second difference. 2 to 4 is a plus 2. 4 to 6 is a plus 2. 6 to 8 is a plus 2. And oh, check it out. I got a common or constant second difference. So I know this is quadratic. So check quadratic. Now if I want to write the recursive sentence for it, the recursive rule in sentence format, I'm going to say what I start with. I'm going to start with 5, and I'm going to add consecutive somethings. Now I just have to figure out what those somethings are. In this case, these are even. Or you can think of them as multiples of 2. So I'm going to, well, even shorter, so I'm just going to write the word even. Consecutive even numbers or integers. Or you can just say consecutive evens. I'm going to understand what you're saying. Um, to the previous value. And i got to say which one I start with. And I am starting with the 2. In the activity in class, I think some of them started with uh, 6 or 4. And that's what you would change here. All right, so that's all I expect from uh, you in terms of recursive uh, sequence, or in terms of the quadratic sequences. Identify it as quadratic. Give me the recursive rule as a sentence.